Hello and welcome to another session of Sika Technology Quick Tips. Um, today we're going to deal with a problem that we've uh, discovered uh, with many of our clients who are running Enterprise PDM. They want to have the ability to do a multi-select on their forms. In other words, be able to select from a list and have all those values uh, saved on their form so they can be searchable later. Um, we've created an add-in and to uh, add the add-in you basically just come in, pick new add-in, and then pick both of the values there that'll be on there the uh, email that you could get from us uh, we're charging fifty dollars for this little add-in um, so be sure to just contact us either at our website or at our phone number 501-835-6868 <clears throat> the add-in adds a, uh, a an ability to run a multi-list select against um, list that you've defined inside of Enterprise PDM. So let's go ahead and look and see what we've got in here. Um, right now I've got a data card and all we can do really inside of EPDM out of the box is place you know individual items or you know people can type in the value and put in comma or something like that. But <clears throat> you really want to try to avoid uh, potential typos and things like that. So let's go here and look at our list that we have defined in here. Um, here's one that's called departments, engineering, manufacturing, etc. Um, let's look at our uh, models here. Here's a bunch of different models uh, that may be affected. And uh, let's go look down here. We also have a list of managers uh, who may be responsible for something. So we want to do is add that to our current list uh, in our card here. So I'm just going to go to a card and let me just pull it up here. It'd be easier. Alright, so we want to add a button here that will allow us to select our managers and place them on this value. So I'm just going to place a button on here and I'm just going to put dot 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 for the caption. And the command string here is going to be run an add in and we're going to put in MS list because that's the name of the add-in actually uh, multi-select list um, and here we want to tell it which uh, field to place it in and in this case it's going to be manager I like to come in here and copy and paste just to make sure I get it exactly right so I'm going to put copy and then I'm going to put the, the vertical bar which is uh, usually above your backslash key and uh, so the way that we do this is it goes to this value and then it wants to know what list we want to go to. So let me go to our list here. And the list we want to attach to this is um, managers. And again, I just like to double click on that and then pull it up just to make sure I've got it spelled exactly correctly. And uh, then we save that card. And now let's go out here to our vault and pick on page uh, text here and it pulls up our dialog box and you can see it's got a uh, button here. Now when I pick on that button it pulls up my managers and I can multi-select people and then save that. Um, I can also come in here and you know deselect people and you know add a different person in there as well. Okay. So <clears throat> now we also want to do the same thing with departments except we really don't want to have a comma separating that um, so we'll show you just another method inside of the uh, this package that we wrote. I'm just going to uh, add another button. And again, we'll just make it dot, dot, dot. And in this case, um, we'll just type in MS list uh, department which is you know this variable here and then uh, we also want to get the list of departments so let's go look over here in our list of departments departments here we go it's called FH departments get out of our way there we go and uh, then I'm going to put another vertical bar in here and if I want to I can put in, you know, just some other character that I want to delimit, uh, delimit <laughs> as a delimiter between my values here. 
Um, so let's go ahead and save that. So now let's go back and look at our card. We'll just click off and then click back in again. You can see it's added the additional button here. And uh, in this case, oops, I forgot to add that this is not a command string, that this is an add-in. <laughs> okay, so let's go save that again. So let's go pick on that. And now you can see it pulls up engineering, manufacturing, upholstery. And if we add anything to the list inside of EPDM, it will automatically add it to this list as well. And now you can see it's actually put a semicolon in between those. Uh, we put in three in there so you can see there's a semicolon there and a semicolon here. <clears throat> now many times we want to have a list that uh, you know scrolls down or, or you know is a multi-select list like you a more traditional list. So let's go back and see how we would do that. I'm going to add again just another button here. And I'll just say models or something like that. Um, again, let's, this time let's pick run add in, and we're going to do ms list, and um, we want to do the affected model. So again, I'm just going to copy and paste that just to be safe, and then we'll do the vertical bar, um, and let's see, let's go grab a list out here. Um, sure. I think it's this one. Sure, that's got a bunch in there. And oops, sorry. And we'll add that here. <clears throat> now the other thing we can do here is opposed to just putting in uh, just a uh, a value here, uh, like a semicolon or a, a, a quotation mark or whatever it is you would like to delimit your your values with. There's a special one that we've added, which is CRLF, which is a carriage return line feed. Now in this case, what it will do is it will add all these into a nice list here. So I'm just going to create this and tell it that it's a multi-line on this value. And we'll tell it save. And now let's go out and look at our card. We won't save the values. Let's go pull this open. And again, you know, here's our departments. We tell it OK. And here's our models that we've just added. And that carriage return line feed automatically adds some uh, returns so that our list is nice and pretty. So I hope this uh, helps you guys out who are looking to have a multi-select list uh, on your data cards inside of EPDM. If you're interested, you can contact us at 501-835-6868. Uh, ask about our multi-list uh, select for EPDM. And again, the value is just uh, $50 uh, for a uh, site license. We appreciate your time. Thanks.